What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to State 48 Turtle and Tortoise. I am Hayden and today as you guys saw in the thumbnail and title, we are going to be building a DIY reptile egg incubator. Um, I got Leroy out here to help me today. Yes, he drives me crazy most of the time and he'll probably drive me crazy today. But as you guys can tell, I'm standing here not in the tortoise cage. Actually in my backyard guys, look at my fence. I finally got the fencing done back here. And it looks amazing. I got to finish building the gates. As you can see, I got that one put together. I got to paint it and install it. But I'm going to build gates, paint them white, put them there, put them there. And then this rigid tortoise fencing right here. I know you guys are curious about what I'm doing out here, but this rigid tortoise fencing, we're going to put it all the way around every side. And the dogs are going to have an enclosed area here to run around in. There's my shadow right there. But anywho, guys, I have to go inside and go in the garage, get a bunch of tools, and then... We're gonna jump right into this incubator, DIY build of an incubator. And it's gonna be just as good as a professional grade incubator. And this is gonna be variable for any size of incubator you wanna build. But let's go check First, it out. really quick, I just realized, I haven't turned on the pump for these guys yet today. They'll probably do for a water change, which is kind of annoying. Usually in the winter, I don't have to do water changes on them, but uh, my filters have been lacking. So I'll probably have to do a water change on them pretty soon. Um, but the tortoises are all out. We got the little Hermans running around. He'll get his own enclosure built someday. Got Brutus out here. I'm gonna go turn their water on really quick. I just gotta make sure the uh, the hose head is angled the right way. And we're gonna be doing the rest of this video actually inside the tortoise house. We got Champ, we got Homestead over there. Um, but yeah, guys, backyard's looking good. Let me know what you guys think. I'm gonna go ahead and run inside and uh, it's actually a surprise. We're actually gonna check in here really quick. How's everyone doing? They're actually just enjoying the heat because uh, it's actually still warm in here. It's actually really hot outside today. Actually, it's kind of the hottest time of day, but whatever. Um, let's go grab those tools. I'll meet you guys back inside the reptile room. So, I wanted to update you guys really quick. There's the truck, the reptile shed. I had this big female albino sulcata. I've been trying to uh, sell, but I had my white trailer there, as you can see, parked here, and she dug a massive burrow under here. Um, the wheels used to be sitting right there and right there, but look at this thing. I mean, it goes, it's the first time I'm actually walking under here. This took her a matter of like weeks. Like, I don't think you can see the back. I won't be able to, but like, dude, this thing's insane. Like, mind-blowingly big. Like, I, I at night, shine my flashlight down in there, and I could see it goes way past the fence. I mean, easily 15 feet or more. Super, super cool. Anyhow, wanted to show you her really quick. If you live in Arizona, you want a big female Sokata, she's 23 inches, virgin female, let me know. All right, guys, I got my tools. This is the super messy shed. I was back and forth between turning this into an incubator but then I thought, you know, this can probably only hold like, I don't know, two clutches, maybe three clutches of eggs. My hope is I get a lot of clutches of eggs. So we're gonna use this one for now. This was actually bought as a freezer I was gonna use to store extra crap. But upon getting it, it didn't wanna work. So I think I should be able to store, my hope is five clutches of eggs in here. I wanna get something bigger that I can use all the same equipment for and turn that into an incubator. But guys, this place is a mess. I've been putting off cleaning it. You know you have like 10,000 things you gotta do, but like, you know it's only gonna take you like 15 minutes to get this thing looking like 20 times better. And I just don't dedicate the 15 minutes. I dedicate it to, to watching YouTube videos, you know, playing some Dota too. Um, but I'm gonna spend 15 minutes. I'm gonna throw up a time lapse. I'm gonna do some freaking organization in here. I'm gonna sweep the freaking floors. Had a mouse get into my bag of Missouri, make this place his home. I saw him two, three days in a row, set out mouse traps. Haven't seen him do anything yet. So I'm gonna sweep all this up and I'm too nervous to feed it to my tortoises. So I'm gonna throw it to the chickens, let them do their thing. But I'm gonna set up a time lapse, guys, and I am going to get this organized. Catch yourself, catch you guys in a jiffy.
All right, you guys, we are back. My 15 minute clean turned into an hour cleaning, turned into a, there's mouse poop everywhere in here. I thought the mouse was over in that area. There was mouse poop everywhere, but we got this thing much, much cleaner, much more organized. I'm gonna focus on this half today. I got this area all cleaned up and organized. That is what we're turning into the incubator today. Um, I don't know what the cubic footage on this is, but it's kind of got these built-in shelf things. Um, I know I'm gonna upgrade this later on down the future, but this will get me by the first couple months of having eggs, um, hopefully this season. If not, I'll upgrade, get a bigger one. But guys, we've got everything we need here. I've got my heat tape. It's a little bit longer than I'm gonna need, so I'm gonna have to cut that down. A lot of you guys are probably going to not know how to do the heat tape. I'll be honest with you guys, I'm pretty new to it as well. We've got, these are basically our insulator caps. You've got your wires that are gonna power the heat tape. And basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna hook one side up to this copper strip and one side up to that copper strip. We've got basically one of each here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and set up the camera. We are going to pop those puppies on. I've got my thermostat, which is gonna control the temperature. Um, but what I gotta do first, right before I put this on, is I gotta drill a hole in the side because I gotta have something, a hole big enough to feed the power cable through. So I'm gonna go ahead and drill a hole really quick, um, get my drill set up, and then we're gonna get everything connected and get this thing set up. All right, you guys, I've got my hole saw set up. It's not made for what we're drilling through right now. I think it's made for wood. It's gonna get the job done. I contemplated putting a hole in the top. I think I'm gonna go straight through the side. So what we're gonna go ahead and do, and this obviously isn't deep enough. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is, um, do I go through the back wall? Would that be better? Now nah, I'm gonna go through the side because I don't know where my extension cord is gonna go. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this puppy. All right, we are in business. Now what I'm gonna have to do is go through the other side, see where I poked through and drill through. Fridges are insulated, that's why we're using a refrigerator as the incubator. Um, I have no idea where my hole is. And again, guys, I am gonna be upgrading this in the future. I'm gonna go ahead and say that looks right. I could measure this if I want, but it ain't that important to be honest because this is not permanent. Let's see how good I did. Oh! I'm amazing. I'm amazing. Look at that. Would you look at it? Oh, look at that. Look at that. Would you look at it, guys? I can put the wire through that. Would you look at it? Oh, baby, that's great. To say I'm proud of myself is an understatement. I'm going to get my blower really quick. Blower, I hardly know her. Anyone know? A joke? What show is that from? If you do, you're an OG. All right, my hole is through. I'll have to get some insulating foam to put back in there after I run my wire through. That's where the power is gonna run through, but now let's get into the bread and butter of this video. Bum, bum, bum. I'm gonna grab my rolly chair. Set it, actually, I should set the camera up right here and you guys can just watch me. Watch me whip. Watch me nanny. All righty. We're gonna try and get the money shot here. Alrighty, money, money. Okay, so hoping I'm in the frame, pretty sure I am. Basically we've got here, I gotta grab a set of pliers. Um, I'm gonna test fit this real quick. It is far too long. Um, again, this is for purposes of this video. I'm gonna go ahead and just demonstrate how to get this set up. I'm gonna run my heat tape and everything behind the wall, but I'm not going to actually um, cut this today because I may end up trading this out soon. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run my heat tape back here behind this, uh, this wall here. I'm gonna get that all situated and then I'm gonna connect the power to it just because I think that'll make my life easier. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that connected or get this ran behind and then I will hit you guys up in a jiffy because I'm not gonna bore you with this. Alrighty, got the heat tape all, tape all set up. What I'm gonna do now, find myself a set of pliers. Let's see if we got any organization here in the drawer. Boom, boom. Um, we're gonna use good old channel locks because that's what I got right now. 
But what we're gonna do, pull this through. I'm gonna set you guys up, show you guys how we're gonna go about hooking this up. So, again, this is hard to do with one hand. So what I'm gonna do is set you guys up right here. Oh, baby. Gotta love this tripod thing I have. Okay, we're gonna get this side here. We're gonna grab one side of our thing. Could be wrong, not mistaken. What we gotta do is get this go through our... Oh, come on, baby. Come on. Gotta get this to go through and clamp on as such. Bada bing, bada boom. So what you're gonna do, if you can see that, you're gonna get it around the copper, because the copper is what is conducts the electricity. And then you're gonna crimp it so it pierces the copper. Squeeze it real good. Give her a little tug of lug. She's on tight. And we gotta do the exact same thing to the other side. These, you really can't do this without these connectors, by the way. You have to have these connectors. Well, I guess you can jerry-rig something, but this is perfect because it's made for heat tape. So, yeah. And then I've got my power plug here. I will undo that. I've got to put my... Because obviously right now, guys, I don't know if you know about electrical. If I have running power through to these pieces of metal, what it's going to do now is it's going to cause electricity to be running into these two pieces of metal. And that is exposed, and that can cause problems. So you really don't want to mess with that. Make sure you squeeze these suckers tight because they want to come out. Because basically what this does is this, this copper actually pierces these, these little thingamajiggers. They actually pierce into the copper, and they're what causes the conductivity to run into the copper through the plastic sheathing. What I'm going to do is grab my conduct, my uh, insulators here. Got two of them. Boom, boom, boom. I'm going to stick that around there. I don't remember the place I organized or organized ordered these from. So if you're wondering, comment down below, and I will go ahead and send you the link. I put these on backwards. Dead gummit. There we go. Okay. That was a close one. Gotta put them on backwards. We're gravy. Get the flies out of my ears. Boom. Boom. And now we are protected. No exposed metal anywhere. Gonna do the second one here. Sorry if this is boring to you guys. I mean I'm assuming if you guys clicked on this video, this is what you're you're wanting to see, right? So go ahead. At the end of the video, I'm gonna test this, show you guys how to set up the thermostat. So make sure you're sticking around, but this is how you set up your heat tape. She's all set up, looking beautiful. I'm gonna pull the excess through the bottom because I'm not cut, again, you can just cut your heat tape at whatever the length you want. I'm not gonna do that right now because I don't, um, I don't know if I'm gonna wanna change it later on. So we got the cord ran through. Let me show you guys that. There's my heat tape, there's my two deals. And again, there's a lot of different ways to do this. I got my cord ran through here. I'll stick some sort of insulation in here to seal this up. Obviously we don't want any bugs or anything like that getting in there. And then you're wondering, do I plug this into the wall? Never plug this in directly into a wall. This will get a billion degrees and you don't want that. You need to plug it into a thermostat where you can regulate the temperature. So what we've got here is the VE200. This is like your professional grade thermostat. Um, the VE200 is like absolutely amazing. I will tell you though, it is not cheap. I'm gonna get this puppy opened up real quick. Far from cheap. I think this thing was, I don't know, two, 300 bucks. Um, not cheap at all. It's my first time opening it up. But basically what this is gonna do, a thermostat, basically what it's gonna do is it is going to regulate the temperature. I'm gonna have a thermometer probe you're gonna see here in a second gonna come out of here go into here and then my heat tape that's in here is gonna be plugged into this when that probe reads say I set my temperature to 88 degrees 87 degrees as soon as it reads 86 this is gonna tell the heat to kick on as soon as it reads 87 it's gonna turn off it's how a thermostat works how it works in your house for your air conditioning I'm gonna get this guy unboxed and uh, get her plugged in start setting her up we are still not gonna plug in the heat yet so I'm gonna take you guys to that point really quick 
And then this video is gonna come to a close very, very soon. Alrighty. Thermostat unlatched. No way. Oh, that's my probe. All right, I got this thing unboxed. I hope you guys can see me okay. Um, Vivarium Electronics. So this actually, the reason it's called the two, the V-200, because you can actually have two probes running into things, and I believe you can have two things plugged in, if I'm not mistaken. Somebody will correct me in the comments, I'm sure. Um, but I believe this can actually control two different uh, thermostats, or uh, two different temperature gauges. But again, I could be completely wrong, guys. This is actually my first time using a VE200 um, thermostat. I've used other types of thermostats that are a lot cheaper, but this is kind of the most reliable thermostat you're gonna find. Um, let me plug that guy in. This is my probe. What we're gonna do here is plug, not take the box down because we do not need that anymore. Most people set their thermostat up on top. We're gonna go ahead and run the thermostat into the inside. I like to stick the thermostat, again, you wanna try and get it in a very central point because you don't wanna just be checking the heat at the top because heat rises, right? So a lot of people suggest you dangle this sucker somewhere in the middle, okay? So I'm gonna dangle mine, I got it ran through the middle. You guys can obviously kind of see what I was doing in there. No, it's not a great angle, not a great shot. I'm gonna plug in my power. And what we're gonna do is plug this in. I've got a plug over here, boom, boom, boom. All right, VE200 version four. So now right now, see the probe's already reading 73 degrees. It's set to 80 degrees, I believe. Um, we're gonna go to enter menu, set daytime temperature, daytime temp, entry accepted, okay. Set daytime temperature. We wanna set that to be at a clean uh, 87. Now nah, we'll go 86. Enter, entry accepted. Okay, boom, done. Press the history, night drop amount, menu, night drop amount, not present, perfect. We don't want that, nope, not zero degrees present, entry accepted. Okay, now we're gonna go through here. No, 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 day temp temp, entry accepted. All right, now what we are gonna do is we are gonna plug in the heat tape. So if you guys are following me, we've got the thermostat temperature reader ran right to the middle. We've got our heat tape running all along the bottom. This is the power cord, which we just wired up. This is getting plugged in to the back side of this. So basically, I'm gonna plug that in. All right, I plugged that in. Now what's gonna happen, right? That is plugged in. What's gonna happen is when this kicks on, it's reading 71 degrees in here. I want it to read 80 degrees. So in theory, what should happen is this heat tape should start to warm up soon. And what that's gonna do is cause the probe and the temperature in here to rise, which is gonna keep us at 87. It's gonna on and off, on and off, on and off. And that's how it's gonna keep the temperature accurate. I'm gonna go ahead and close the door, let this thing run for a minute, and I'll catch you guys in a jiffy. Sorry I'm not on the camera that much today, but I'm not really the money shot. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, get this running. And I'll All catch right. you guys in a bit. I just checked. It's went from 70 to 71. I'm pretty sure this light means it is heating. I stuck my hand back here and it's warm. So that is absolutely glorious. That means everything's working. Um, it's not like hot, hot, but it's warm enough to where if this stays closed, it's obviously going to keep it very, very warm in there. I'm gonna keep a close eye on this. I'll catch you guys in a jiffy. All right, you guys, we are back. It has reached the temperature we need it to. I went ahead and opened it up really quick to show you when the heat is not on, the light is not on. If the light turns on, that means the heat is on. We are at 86 and 86. It's 4.48 p.m. This thing is working great. This is an old freezer, guys, showing you guys how you can build your very own DIY incubator. That's gonna be a wrap on today's video. I appreciate you guys sticking around, sticking to the end. Some of you may be wondering what's going on with this stand and that tank. If you're a fish person, you're gonna wanna subscribe because I have some banger fish content coming soon. It's not gonna be a lot, but it's gonna be one of those things where like, from what I understand, I'll be the second person only in the United States to have this fish. 
I'm not even a fish guy, but I got a really cool opportunity. I have to bite on soon. But anywho guys, this is our DIY incubator. This is where we are going to be incubating the albino sulcata eggs when they come soon, hopefully in the next month or two. But I appreciate you stopping by. Click the like button, click subscribe. We're gonna have a lot of new content coming soon. We got Leroy being a menace. But guys, you're the best. Thank you so much. Have an absolutely wonderful, wonderful day. Thank you. And we'll see you next time. Peace.